ready to prioritize your bandwidth on your Cisco switch? We'll take a closer look and discuss the QoS Advanced Mode on this edition of Tech Talks, next. In QoS Advanced Mode, the device uses policies to support per flow QoS. We can change the display mode of switch from basic to advanced. Next, we'll navigate to the General tab under Quality of Service and select QoS Properties. Here, we can change the QoS mode to advanced and click Apply. Then, under the global settings of QoS Advanced Mode, we can choose the Trust Mode as COS 02.1P for Layer 2 marking, DSCP for Layer 3 marking, or both. In this case, choose both. We can set the default mode status as Trusted in order to trust default values of COS 802.1P or DSCP. Or we can set it to Not Trusted where the default values configured on the interface are ignored and all traffic goes to Q1. We'll enable Override Ingress DSCP and click on the DSCP Override table to reconfigure new values of the DSCP for egress queuing. First, we need to create an access control list to filter traffic and send them to QoS queues. This is assigned to a class mapping table to match packet criteria on a match all or match any basis. Next, we'll need to create a policy table and add one or more class maps to this policy. Here, we'll select the action type regarding ingress COS 802.1P and or DSCP value of all matching packets. The default trust mode ignores these values while the always trust mode trust these values. We can also manually set one of these options and enter a new value to determine the egress queue of matching packets. The policy can be bound to an interface as an input policy or output policy. Only one policy profile can be configured per port per direction. Deny any, the default action, forwards packets if they match any policy, or permit any, allows packets if they do not match any policy. The aggregate policer measures the rate of traffic that matches a predefined set of rules and enforces limits. This can be applied to one or more class maps. The committed information rate is the maximum allowed rate or bandwidth. The committed burst size is the amount of traffic that is allowed to pass as a temporary burst, even if it's above the defined maximum rate. We can select the Exceed action as Drop or Out of Profile DSCP, where it is remapped to a new DSCP value. In this example, we'll choose Out of Profile DSCP. Next, we'll enable Peak Enforcement to enable action if peak burst size is exceeded. We can now define the peak information rate, burst size, and select our Violate action as Drop or Out of Profile DSCP. The out-of-profile DSCP remarking allows us to filter data based on action type to display as exceed or violate. And that's how to use the QoS advanced setup on SG350 and SG550 switches. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.